Hi, my name's Matt Locke, and this is the Everyday Athlete Podcast, the podcast for the everyday athletes around the world who refuse to be average and who want to create a legacy of health, fitness, and achievement in every aspect of their life. I'm glad you're here, and once again, it's time to forge your future. Jacob, good to have you back on the podcast. For those Lovely who, to be here, mate. Yeah, no, awesome. For those who uh, haven't yet listened to your first episode, I suggest you do. I'm talking here with the plant-based gorilla. Um, <laughs> I, I love that name, I have to say. And for, again, for anyone who's watching on YouTube uh, or started following on Instagram, they will understand that name entirely. And um, <laughs> what, what we didn't get chance to, where we, we didn't get around to, because we were just chatting, I guess, um, in episode one, uh, I know it's a subject that you get asked about a lot, and I, I do often, I, you know, I always try and find more interesting uh, questions and subjects to talk around, but there's no getting away from the fact that uh, at 113 kilos, as we discovered, um, super strong, super athletic, um, plant-based, for sure, we're going to want to know what goes into that uh, on a sort of daily, the average day, let's say. So that was uh, certainly the intention of uh, this episode, to dive into yeah, what, a, what an average day of eating and training and recovery looks like for you. Um, yeah, awesome, man. Um, well, at the very moment, you know, I'm very fortunate to have um, a couple of sponsors on board. So um, I actually get all of my meals delivered to my house every week and I get all of my subs delivered as well. So super grateful for that. I'm very, very fortunate to have that. So at the how- moment... Can't tell you how envious I am of that. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, man. Sometimes I um, you know, I take it for granted. Like I get my meals and I'm just kind of like chucking them in the fridge, and then I have to sit back and you know I've got a full fridge of pre-packed, um, organic, plant-based, oil-free meals, and I'm going, yep, no, nah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty lucky right now. So um, yeah, man, that's that's what my diet mainly consists of at the moment. If if anyone's wondering, it's, it's the place is called Garden of Vegan, which is based in Burley on the Gold Coast. Um, I actually believe James Newberry is on board with us at the okay, moment yeah, as cool. well. So it's pretty cool to be, um, you know, I've never met him. We've, we've spoke a little bit over Instagram, but it's pretty cool to sort of be like on the same uh, sponsor as him, I guess, which is which is a cool thing. Absolutely. I saw, um, I saw something on him yesterday uh, over the weekend popped up, um, him talking about not not sending it on every workout, how working for quality of movement and, and so on. And geez, he's looking fit. He's oh my God. so fit. It's yeah, awesome. Awesome. Yeah, he, he looks, I think he looks the best physically that he's ever, he's ever looked. He just looks like a machine. He's pretty big right now. Huh? I mean, he's super oh. looked and defined, but he, he's big and strong right now. Yep. I mean, he's always been big and strong, but you know what I mean? He's looking big. Yep, definitely, way. man. Definitely. Um, but yeah, man, enough about that guy. Yeah, Gardner um, Vegan, yeah, enough about him. But he's not here right now. So. Yeah, Gardner um, Vegan, that, that's because he did oil free as well, right? So, um, oh man, they're, um, you know, obviously it sounds like the Garden of Eden, Garden of Vegan. Yeah. They are literally that, you know, mm-hmm. they are organic, plant based, oil free. They have their whole kitchen is, um, has been re-piped with the highest quality pipes and filtered water. So wow. everything that they, they even wash their food in is, is um, you know, has none of the chemicals in the water. So um, I was really lucky to be one of their, well, I was their first, um, I guess, athlete ambassador that they sort of um, reached out to, which was, which was awesome. Um, so they reached out and yeah, that's what I, what I, what I get now. So they have, you know, a huge, huge range of meals um, going from, you know mac and cheese which is the, the healthiest mac and cheese you can possibly think of you know the sauce is made out of, of ingredients that are going to give you the energy that you need they have pad tires they have breakfast bowls so i get that delivered to my house and i try and consume between three to five thousand calories worth of those meals plus supplements and fruit and, and vegetables on top so um it's That's funny a lot, man i was eating one of those meals eh? That must be it's a lot of those meals. Um, I've got little tricks and, and stuff, you know, like for example, I'll, um, if on their breakfast meals, you know, I'll chuck in a tablespoon of peanut butter and a banana on top. But yeah. it is, it's definitely when people get around me, because I've always thought, you know, I don't eat, you know, too much because, you know, like beginning in the bodybuilding world and you watch, you know, like um, Ronnie Coleman and Jay Cutler, if you don't know who they are, they're the biggest bodybuilders um, of our time. And, you know, they eat just kilos of food. So I was always like, I'm not eating too much. And then I get, you know, your average person around me and they're just like mind blown. Like my brickie is like 
three or four different plates just sitting in front of me and I just scoff it and I'm sort of like, you know, I could probably have a bit more, but I better, I better not. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. So, um, so in terms of your daily routine, is there anything before you actually hit the breakfast, the food part of your yeah. breakfast? Yeah, yeah, definitely. So um, I'm a big, I'm quite a intuitive, I guess, quote unquote, spiritual in a sense, you know, so I like to get up in the morning, um, have a big glass of water. Um, I do love my coffee. So I'll have a, I'll have a shot of coffee. Um, I usually go and have a cold shower. And then I, if I have the time, I'll do a bit of breath work and meditation just to set my intention for the day. Um, I believe it or not, do <laughs> I fast a little bit in the morning. So that's, that's, um, yeah, that's, that's all I'll have until about maybe nine o'clock, 10 o'clock. So it's not a big fast, but it's definitely 12, 12 hours. Um, at, at the least so yeah man I'll, I'll have that little fast then but then once i get home and once the food starts going in it, it pretty much doesn't stop until um you know 9 10 p.m at night so um yeah man it's it's, it's a it's a uh, at first you know it was it was pretty full on trying to get those calories in um but like i said i've always been a pretty big eater so now it's just like i could i could go more i actually was talking to someone and and, and for me personally i'm like man, I would struggle to eat anything under what I'm eating. Like I would, I would feel starved, I think. <laughs> uh, you know, it's interesting. I, um, I mean, I, you know, as we talked about last time, I'm plant-based and right now yep. I'm trying to put a bit, of, you know, put a bit more strength into myself. Um, yep. And I'm trying to hit around 3000 calories a day at the moment and to hit the, the macros as well. I mean, I, that's, that it's very deliberate, right? It takes a bit of effort. And anytime I'm talking to anyone in the industry and I sort of say what I'm trying to do, they go, oh man, how do you get your protein being in a plant-based diet? Oh, it must be so hard. And I wonder whether the difference is actually just it's a clean diet. The fact that it's plant-based isn't the main issue. I think uh, it's easy to get calories, right? You can get calories on a crappy diet, whether you're plant-based or not. Calories are easy. Yep. Getting the right calories um, is the trick. Uh, and what sort of advice would you give to people who are, uh, you know, they're trying to be more conscious about what they eat, um, but are, are very calorie focused? I mean, how do you tend to approach it? Because you, obviously, you're eating very clean, right? Very clean. Yep, yep. So um, for me, especially if you're transitioning into a plant-based diet, um, what worked best for me was probably not worrying too much about my macros and it was worrying about hitting, hitting my calories through a clean diet. So um, that was my biggest goal to begin with. Now that I'm, I'm a fair way into it, I, I do look into my macros as well and make sure I'm hitting certain targets. But I think it's also acknowledging um, your macros are going to change. You know, when you go to a plant-based diet, it's not going to be your typical super, super high protein, you know, moderate fats, moderate carbs. You are probably going to have more, a few more carbohydrates in your diet. Your protein's still going to can be, you know, a healthy amount for for you, and um, you know, your fats are naturally going to be a bit lower. So um, that's one thing I had to wrap my head around, and I try and tell athletes um, that are tr transitioning to you sort of have to be prepared for that, and um, you have to realise that just because your protein is lower, you're getting nutrients that you've never probably had that abundance of before. So you know, your vitamins, your minerals, your antioxidants, your amino acids are through the roof. So you're going to get those benefits and recoveries from a different part of of eating and, and and your nutrition like i had a guy in the gym come to me and he was a big bodybuilder and he's like i'm gonna go vegan i watch game changers and i was like yep awesome he didn't want any advice so i just said go for it man let me know how you go and he was eating like kilos of tofu and <laughs> cans of beans and he come in and he goes man i feel like crap and i'm like yeah because you, your fiber intakes through the roof you're eating bad quality tofu like it's it's you know that it's not it's one thing to say that you're going to go onto a plant-based diet, but knowing what you're eating and trying to eat a variety of foods is the main goal that people I think, especially transitioning into it, need to focus on. Yeah, sure. And it's um, I mean, even though there's a lot of information out there, it still can be really confusing. Yeah? Um, I mean, I've, I mean, I've been in it for a while now, but trying to yeah, transitioning over to much more the functional training style of life and, and trying to put a bit of strength and size on. Um, I'm still finding my way. And I, and yeah. I you know, I've, I've hooked up with a nutritionist, um, a nutrition coach, and she's helping yeah. tremendously. But still, that day to day, what do I need to eat? When? How much? It's kind of a challenge. There's no doubt about it. It definitely is, man. And like I said, um, 
for me personally, obviously I'm very lucky that I, I get these meals, but I literally um, make sure I'm just hitting my targets, um, roughly hitting my targets. And, and I think getting the calories in, like we we're saying, getting good quality calories in is my main goal because um, like I was saying before, I know that my macro is going to be different to your average athlete's macro. So if they sent me their macros and said, hey, bro, try this, it's, it's not really going to work out um, sure. on a plant-based diet. So, But once I sort of acknowledge that I'm getting different sources of food, like, you know, before going plant-based, there was no way I was eating as much fruit, vegetables, um, you know, like little things like organic cacao powder and beetroot powder. And I was, I was never even looking at that. So for me, it's acknowledging that I have all these extra implements in my diet. Um, I'm, I'm going to get benefits from them as well. Instead of just focusing on, on my, am I hitting my protein? Am I having my protein? And sort of now it's like, make sure I get an adequate amount of protein, which for me is, is a lot lower now. And it's, then it's sort of spiraling into making sure I'm getting all these other variety of food and nutrients as well. Uh, and that's such, a, that's such a good point as well, because there's so much focus given to protein, 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 yep. right? so much focus about it. But as you're talking about, actually, um, what some people, many people consider to be a restrictive diet, plant based, on the contrary. I mean, we've got yep. a smorgasbord of amazing foods with amazing nutrients that we're smashing into ourselves if we choose to. Um, yep. Way more than most people who are eating the, the standard American diet, I think the terminology is sad diet. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's not the word America, but it's a way of describing yeah. it. The, the average diet, let's say. Um, oh, I couldn't agree more, man. It's um, yeah, it's it's something that once you actually give it a go and you realise, you know, instead of having a bolognese, which would be just you know meat and pasta, you're now making a bolognese with with um, vegetables that you probably haven't really tried before with different sources and you're using you know different types of pasta because you're now you're interested you know instead of being like the old traditional recipe you're now like all right we're not going to have you know what we would usually have in it what other options in there oh my god there's you know there's um, wholemeal pasta there's all these different options the next thing you know you're having this really wholesome healthy meal instead of you know a cheap Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, exactly right. Exactly right. Now, look, in terms of supplementation, I, the, the only supplement, I guess I'm using some protein powders at the moment, but the only supplement other than that um, for general health is B12, uh, which yep. is generally considered to be something that if you are following a vegan or plant based diet, you do need to supplement B12. It's the only thing yep. Yep. that you actually need to to sustain life. And I have to say, I got that wrong a couple of years ago. I, I just kind of ran out and I. Yep. Just got out the habit of a little oral spray once a day. That's all it is. So easy, it even tastes nice. And um, yep. I took out the habit, and it was really interesting. I, I didn't realize how important that is for everyone, not just plant based uh, people on a plant based diet. But um, yeah, that, that was interesting. I, I, I just suddenly hit a brick wall. I was just flat, had a mood change. Yeah, I just was uninterested in training, which is most unlike me. I had no energy. <laughs> uh, you know, I would go to the gym again. I just, I, pick up my bag and walk back out. I just didn't want to be there. Um, no energy and, and so on. And yeah, it ended up, I was horribly deficient in B12. Um, and that was after about three or four months of not supplementing. And uh, so then yeah, a series of injections later and back into the routine and no, no issue, quite a quick fix, but very important, very important. But other than B12, um, what supplements do you tend to take, if any? Yeah, so um, like I said earlier, I'm pretty lucky I'm also you know, sponsored by a supplement brand as well, um, which is called Macro Mike. So they're a, a plant-based um, natural supplement brand. So um, Macro Mike. <clears throat> yeah, Macro Mike. I've got um, one of their cookies actually here. If you want this. So if they do things like this. <laughs> clean, the clean cookie from Macro Mike. The clean like. cookie, yeah. So um, it's cool, man. Like it's, um, I, I utilize a lot of their supplements. Um, if I'm being completely honest, it's because they look after me. Um, sure. If I was to not have the sponsor, it would be like what you said. It would be B12, um, probably a good natural pre-workout. That that is something that I've always um, liked to utilize, and um, I, I, I utilize the super greens as well. And I try and get something for gut health too, just because for me, um, you can never have too good of gut health. So um, they have a big range of that. So um, at the moment, supplement-wise, is like literally I've got a pre-workout. Um, their amino acids. So I've got a, a brain a brain function, which you know has all your your um, mushrooms and mushrooms, stuff in there. Yeah. Um, they've got the gut health, which I take as well. Um, 
protein and then I've obviously got snacks. So I just utilize their, their cookies and their brownies and stuff like that to sort of help me to not eat, um, you know, uh, vegan Ben and Jerry's before bed. <laughs> so, um, yeah, man, but definitely, like you said, the, the supplements that I think you have to kind of look into is your B12. Um, I utilize iodine a bit as well. So that's, um, that's in, um, one of the products I take that's from, from, a, from a doctor, his name's the plant-based doctor. So he created his own product, which is full of your B12 and iodine and things like that. Huh. And, um, yeah, man, but it's definitely, um, yeah, I think a good pre-workout is my weakness, like a, a natural, I like to take a natural, so a good natural pre-workout and then a good quality protein powder after you train and your B12 supplement is probably, probably the, um, the things that you need the most, I think. When you say a good quality pre-workout, I'm interested, what, what, what's in it? So the one that I take is, um, if I'm correct, it actually doesn't have ca like proper caffeine in it. So it's got your, um, ah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's got all your, all your, um, citrulline, your glutamine or everything that you sort of need to help get through your session. Um, and it's got, what's the, what's the stuff? What's the stuff in V called, um, grana. So it's got your, you know, natural, I think it has goji in it. Like it's got things um, that are just going to give you that natural energy um, because I'm having coffee as well. You know, I don't really need a super strong, crazy pre-workout. And I find whenever I take them, I feel like crap afterwards anyway. So um, yeah, I definitely like to utilize a good natural pre-workout, just looking at the ingredients and making sure it's not just full of stimulants. You know, when you pick up a pre-workout and it says 700 milligrams of caffeine, you're probably looking in the wrong place. I agree. And that's, and that's synthetic caffeine as well. It's not natural. Caffeine. Yep. That's so, right. Yeah. hundred percent. hundred percent. So anything synthetic, I mean, why? If we could avoid it's that, good, man. it's a good thing. Eh? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I couldn't agree more. So it's definitely about, yeah. Like, like I just said, looking for your, your supplement can easily take you off track, I believe. So if you're, you know, if you're looking for a plant-based supplement and, and it's just full of, um, you know, synthetic ingredients and it's just, it's just made to taste good and to sell, then, you know, you, you really got to question that supplement that you're taking. So I'm very fortunate that I've been around um, plant-based supplements that are, you know, usually a natural anyway, you know, but sometimes you can get dragged into these, um, these, you know, sales schemes and stuff like that, where it's like, it looks really good and they, they promote that it's healthy. But once you actually look at the ingredients, you can sort of get a, a bit cringed at it. So yeah, man, it's definitely, you've got to look into your supplements because like I said, I think if you're on this really healthy, wholesome diet and then you're supplementing with the wrong supplements and not good quality supplements, you can really sort of um, take you off the path that you're trying to stay on. Absolutely. And they also shouldn't be a barrier. I mean, mm. as they said, actually the only supplement you need on a plant-based diet is B12. That's it. Yep. Everything else is then yep. a choice and they shouldn't be a barrier. People shouldn't get bogged down with, Oh, I've got to take all these things. I mean, it's the same with any diet. You know, supplement, it's a massive industry, right? And they've got yep. loads of money to pour into marketing to make us believe that um, we need it, uh, that, that it will work for us. And I guess trial and error, I reckon, is the way to go. See how you feel. Um, yep. As we talked about Definitely. last time, the, um, the turning point for you was when you tried going plant-based and just felt amazing. Um, you had the fireworks yep. going off inside you, and that's... There you go. I felt amazing, so I carried on. It's the most logical thing in the world, isn't it? Exactly right, man. And I um, I like to fast from supplements a lot just to remind myself that I don't need them. So, you know, um, a lot of people don't realize that, you know, you can fast from anything. You can fast from social media. You can fast from supplements. Um, so I like to do that just to remind myself that, hey, these are a good, um, you know, uh, attribute to my diet and training. Training, but they're not something that I need. I don't have to take these. They're not going to, you know, if, if I ran out or if I lost um, the this, this sponsorship or something, I'm not going to burn and crash. It's something sure. that I utilize and um, I'm very fortunate to utilize and they do give me a bit of an edge, sure. but um, it's not something that's going to, you know, be the be all and end all of my, of my health and training. Except for B12. Oh, of course, 100%. Don't fast I'm talking. From B12. <laughs> no, no, definitely, man. B12. Um, you, you, like you said, you will feel a difference if you're not something. I think oh, yeah. I personally believe everyone needs to supplement with B12 because it's just the day and age that we live in. Um, we're not getting adequate amounts. Exactly so, right. Um, definitely supplement with B12. Food. Sanitized food. Yeah, exactly. Food. Exactly. Yeah. So no, you're hundred percent right. B12 is the exception, but I'm I'm talking more like you know your pre-workouts, yeah, yeah, protein powder, sure. and sure. yeah, they're they're something that we're 
where people like you and I are fortunate to, to take, but if you're, you're on a budget, um, don't make that your priority. Definitely get your food in, like you said, get your B12 supplement in and just, and, and you'll be, you'll be just fine. Very good. Um, conscious of time, mate. The, um, that, that supplement, uh, the pre-workout supplement you're talking about, is that macro mic as well? That is macro mic too. So yeah, they, um, they literally, everything I take is through them. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm big on natural supplements. So they yeah, all cool. their products are hundred percent natural. And oh, good. yeah, okay. man. Well, we've given them a shout out and we'll put them in the show notes. And um, same with um, Gardener Vegan for sure. They nas- they deliver nationally if they're servicing James Newbury. Uh, that's yeah, I believe so. Yeah, they, I think so. That I mean, I I know it was it, it was um, a struggle at first to deliver, you know, Australia wide. But I think they're at the level now where they they do deliver Australia wide. I can't I can't speak highly enough of their meals. Even when I tell people, look, just like honestly, try and get a couple of their meals to have during the week just to give your body that that you know organic oil free plant based sort of nutrients and have a break from you know even if they're on an animal based product or a plant based diet um a, a diet animal based diet plant based diet say that five times fast um yeah they they to implement those meals is going to sort of just give you that little bit of a benefit i think so all i need to do is gain 20 kilos of muscle um, and call myself the plant-based ape and have a chat with those guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, literally, man. It was, um, yeah, I was really lucky when they reached out because I was sort of, wasn't really doing anything at the time. You know, when they, when they reached out, I, I remember I was mind blown. They were like, Hey, come in for a chat. And I thought, Oh yeah, they're probably just going to give me a meal and try and, and try and sell them to me and make me buy them. And then they said, you know, um, we'd really love to fuel you and, and like to, to fuel you and give you your food and see how you feel. And, yeah, man, I, I haven't looked back since I've been on board with them. So well, I think definitely been, very, very lucky. I think you've been very humble. There's nothing lucky about that. You've you've earned the right to be in that position and you've earned every single meal that they give you. They fuel you with. So uh, for sure, well-deserved. Sure. But um, Jacob, if anyone wants to reach out to you uh, and get in touch yeah. with you, what's the best way for them to do that? Um, definitely my Instagram would be the um, would be the best way. So it's literally just my name, Jacob Warhua. Um, so jumping over on onto my Instagram and shooting me a message would be the best way to connect. Um, but if you want to jump on my Facebook or my um, YouTube, there's a few more sort of videos and stuff up there as well. If you want to check me out before you shoot me a message. Sure thing. Well, Jacob, I appreciate your time. Uh, I know everyone who's listened to this does as well. Thank you so much. And I uh, look forward to chatting to you again. Awesome. Thank you, mate. Well, there you have it. Thanks very much for listening. And if you've enjoyed this, please go ahead, hit the subscribe button down below and the little bell icon so you get notified every time we upload a new episode. And if you think that one of your training buddies would also enjoy this, go ahead and share it with them right now. With that said, thank you once again. And as always, be brave, have fun and lead by example.